everyone, this is disrespecting and I'm doing a little something different. I'm doing a first look at Age of Empires Online. I got into the closed beta, finally got window or games for Windows Live to work. God, that was a pain. It really was. I hate you, Games for Windows Live. Although, I loved Age of Empires 2. I loved 1. 3, not so much. But I just have to try Age of Empires Online, because an Age of Empires MMO has been, like, my dream for ages. Like, I put all the graphic settings on its highest, uh, and, um, yeah. Uh, this is the first thing you get as soon as you click the play button after logging in. Um, I've already noticed that if I want to play the Egyptians, I have to buy them, I guess. Upgrade now, yeah, purchase the Civilization Pack, which is already uh, a minus point for me. I would have preferred to pay like a monthly fee, that is, if the game is any good. So for now, I guess we'll play the Greeks. Only two, uh, two factions available at the moment. The name of your capital city. Wow, I have no clue. Let's call it Banana Town City. No, let's just call it Banana in case it puts City behind it on its own. Because otherwise we'll have Banana City City. Which will be weird. Play the Greeks. I have no clue what to expect, so, um, yeah. Let's see. Welcome to Age of Empires Online. I know uh, I shouldn't read all this out loud in a video, but it's the first time I'm playing and I want to read this for myself, so screw you, pretty much. You're about to enter your capital city for the first time. This is your home base, a place that you're, that's yours to guide and decorate as you see fit. Your city is still new. To build it into a powerful empire, look for people with quests and then head out into the world to accomplish the tasks they offer. Interesting. Okay, so we're... I guess... Wow, this is... I'm already confused. Mill? What's this? The Age of Empires online store? Don't want to go there. Spend technology points here to... It. What did right-clicking do? I have no clue. It makes a funny noise. 16 slot warehouse? That's where the store supplies, I suppose. General store. Where's my resources? I see coin is the main currency. Most quest rewards some coin and it can be used for things such as purchasing items from other players or vendors so I guess these are just normal coins move a building in your capital city back a building back into a blueprint okay interesting let's talk to this guy blessed Zeus you finally arrived a nearby outpost has come under attack from a group of raiding clubmen as your village elder I advise you to defend your outpost and show the citizens of Greece that they are safe to settle new Lens, okay. Single player only. So I guess there's multiplayer missions, which is awesome because I love co op. Wish I had someone to play with, in fact. Eliminate all of the clubmen attacking the outpost. Sounds easy enough. You will earn the town center. Interesting. Serves as a resource drop site. Increases population limit by 20. Gathers resources. Well, yeah, obviously, worker. Okay. Three empire points. Powerful items and crafting recipes. Experience is obvious, coins is obvious. Okay. Press the quest map button to view your current quests. Quest map button, I guess that's here, quest map. From the quest map you can select your quest by using either the left side list or the, or the map to launch use the begin quest button. Okay. So, we can click the map here or we can begin quest here. And here's the rewards and the description. Yeah, okay, it's nice. A little quest list. Yeah, that works. Double clicking and it starts. Select a unit by left clicking, obviously. Right click to move it. Hold and drag. Uh, right click to attack. Yeah, it's uh, the same as any other RTS. Exactly what you'd expect. Let's see. Arrow keys move the screen. WASD do not work. Um, we can zoom in. Oh. Kill that guy. He's destroying a building. I assume blue is our faction. Um, I'm tempted to destroy it, but I guess I won't because I don't know what's going to happen if it's mine. Open inventory, game menu. Hmm. I, I don't know about the art style. I mean, I guess it looks pretty good. I expected uh, it to be worse. I expected to hate it, but this I can deal with. Looks okay. Wow, there's a lot of dudes. Kick their arses. 
wonder if I can claim these buildings. I sure hope so. Seems to be a little lack of music. Party invite! Oh, interesting! And online players to invite your party for co-op and PvP games. Oh, that's sweet. I really wonder how those work. Are they, like, missions as well? Or can I actually build buildings? Can I build buildings? Do I do that later? So many questions. Ah! What's this? Friendly villagers. Are they happy with me? Looking for beta code for friend will sleep with you. Yeah, I never really looked at the chat, because mostly seems to be spam. It's so looking for group chat. So I guess you can look for party members here if you... Oh, they were repairing. I thought they were beating the buildings up. Wow. So I guess that's where you look for a group. It's pretty simple. Yeah, you can just go here and... Yeah, enter the name, I suppose. Apparently I have two friends. I have no clue where they came from. I don't even know the second guy. I never really used games for Windows Live. Well, actually, I guess I played um, GTA 4. Treasure discovered. Oh, I need to discover treasure, so I guess we're just going to explore. I'm not going to split my men up, because I don't know what to expect, and if I don't want to be overwhelmed. So I guess we'll get... Can I attack trees? I can't... How about if I click A? No, there's no attack command with A. Interesting. Okay. That's the edge of the map. Yeah, okay. It's, I see. I didn't really watch the mini-map at all. So I guess those red thingies mean berries, red baskets, or whatever they're supposed to represent. Deer. Ah, okay, so I can hunt deer. I can't control the villagers in this map, though, so... Nope. They're like a neutral faction that I'm helping, I suppose. Oh, secret path. Or is it just that the trees, like the forest, is thin? I guess that's it. Treasure hunting. You've discovered a treasure. With the unit selected, right-click it to add it to the inventory. Okay. You received a chest. Apparently I destroyed a campfire. Close. And where's my inventory exactly? Game menu, open inventory. A chest containing a secret item, right-click to reveal its content, okay? Copper ingots, 29 of them. Used to craft items and construct buildings, okay. So I guess resource collecting is not only with done with the villagers, but it's also done through treasures. Maybe treasures just have rare things, I don't know. I, I hope... I want to remove this... Ah, there we go. Perfect. Ah, oh, I clicked the chat. Go away. How to select a unit, I know that. Can I get rid of these? Yeah, right-clicking them gets rid of them. Selecting multiple... Yeah, it's just a treasure tip. Okay. And there's a bug button to report stuff for the beta, I guess. I actually got a beta key for this really early on, but I couldn't get it to work. Oh, the campfire breaks when you click the treasure. Okay. So what this... Ah, I it works as well for the inventory. That's nice. Stone blocks. When you complete a quest, you can continue exploring the map or end the quest by accessing the quest map button and returning to the... I'm gonna explore the map and see if that gives me anything. I don't know if there's like achievements involved with this game or if there's going to be. It is beta, so who knows. I guess it's safe to say there's no more enemies, so I'm gonna send these two guys to the black zone. You can click the map to control your units, which is awesome. I can also s make them suicide by the looks of it. Oh, attack move. So there is a click to attack thing instead of right click, but it's like, uh, I guess there's no hotkeys for it. What about the options? Do the options have hotkeys? Show unit training queue. Well, duh, of course I want that. Enable friend or foe colors. Allies are yellow, enemies are red. No, I want to see the individual colors. Alt shows, oh, I want that. Hit points bars if I hold alt. Control shift, no, I don't want to invert anything. Snap to unit threshold. Adjust the double tap response. Okay. I'll leave that. Disable one click garrison. Hmm. Easy drag military. Drag will only select military units. So I suppose that prevents you from selecting like a building and some military units. Uh, yeah, as you can see, you can lock the camera at normals, but I can just change that with the scroll button. I guess that's if you have an old mouse. 
Because by the looks of it, this game was made to be accessible, sort of like uh, World of Warcraft and stuff, I guess. There are supposed to be units here. Or am I... No, those are just rat baskets. Here they are. Wow. I'm blind. I guess there's nothing more to explore here, so... We are gonna go to... Open a quest map. First enemy. Return to Quest City. Does that complete the quest? I hope so. Oh wait, I probably just talked to that old guy. You can turn in the quest and claim your reward. Exactly. The hero returns. Okay. So it just says again what it said in the quest log, all the stuff I get, and he has a new quest for me. So I'm gonna check that out immediately. Uh, with it saved, return to the outpost, and... Okay, I need to become familiar with the ways I get food. Okay. Single player only, and I will learn to build a house. Which, uh, yeah, increases population, just like in every Age of Empires. Let's go back to that quest map. Although, wait, no, I... Can I actually do anything with... Oh, that's my inventory. Okay. The warehouse is my uh, in-game inventory. New stuff got added here. Okay, this is like the buildings I can make, I suppose? Construction store. Yeah, okay. So buy buildings in that building. Wait, where's the house and stuff? Construction store? Oh, this sells blueprints. Wow, I need that. I need to get wood, though. Can't control any of the... No, that's all just visuals. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the quest map. Before I'm going to continue, I'm going to quickly pause the video and get myself a drink. Okay, and I'm back, and I'm going to begin this quest. I got myself a nice cold glass of Coke, because it's hot as hell out here. Windows open, fans on, my computer sounds like a jet engine. But, oh, wait, I didn't read the tips. Ooh, is this a scout? Yes, I thought so. Can I shift-click to make him travel to several points? I think I can. Yeah, I think it's working. Spot found. Okay, fishing spot. Um, gathering resources. Villagers can gather resources. Left clicks and right click resource. Okay, you cut a tree. Uh, do we have any other resources? Well, I guess you can go and get fish. Does that work? Do I need a rod or anything? I guess you can all just cut trees while I find tasks for you to do. The treasure is guarded. Well, how much attack does this guy have? 600 health, 11 speed, 4 DPS. What about this one? 23 DPS. No, okay. Well, I have almost 6 times his health. Now, I'm not going to risk it for now. I'm going to try and get a little army. Oh, I have spearmen here. Let's send them. Go and attack that dude. I guess you might as well join them. I mean, there's no reason why not. They're already set to aggressive. Um, I want to see if one of you dudes... Come here, you. Deliver that wood. You go fish. And I want one more of you, and I want to see if you can actually build. You can garrison and repair. Is that it? So how do I build crap in... I guess this is not... Yeah, it'll be explained later. Ring town bell that returns all the units to that building for safety, I'm pretty sure. This is what it did in the original Age of Empires, or Age of Empires 2. I don't really remember much of Age of Empires 1, to be honest. I just played the crap out of 2. But yeah, um, this MMO has been my dream for ages. It seriously has been. So I hope... I guess it's not a persistent world, so it's not really MMO. It's more like lobby-based, but uh, I'll still take it. I mean, if the cash shop isn't too crappy. Train, you've got enough food to train your first villager. Select town center. Okay. Easy enough. There's a little queue to see how long it takes. I guess... I don't know what these wreckages are. Can I repair these? No, I can't. Where did I leave my units? Down here. You need to get that treasure for me. I want to see what's in there. 32 animal hides and grain. Okay. Banana level one. Guess this is a dead end. Can't seem to walk there. Okay, it's a mountain. So I guess okay, berry patch is found one. It's this one. Fishing spots found, so I guess I have to explore along the river. 
villagers trained. Five villagers, okay. Let's get some more. Resources here, food, wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Not much more here. So just need to gather more food, really. So you can all get the fish. Because I don't really need the wood by the looks of it. It seems like every mission I just want to explore the entire map. Yeah. Make sure I get all the resources. Can I set a waypoint? Yes, I can. Okay, so now they're all hopefully gonna fish as soon as they enter this world. And now I just have to make five villagers by clicking this button every time that I can. Oh, there's still a woodcutter here. You are a criminal. Listen to what I say. Training villagers. Yeah, okay. Go away. I get your tip. Can I actually make my characters kill each other? Kill him. I can't. Really. Oh wait, this is attack move. It means like if I click here, it'll attack anything on its way, but still finish walking there. Like it won't. So it's better than just right clicking something, I guess. It's a bummer I can't kill my own man. I don't know why I'd want to do that. I just wanted to try. Uh, delete him. Yes. Yeah, that kills him. I guess the delete key works as well. I'm gonna try that. Yes, it does. It also also gives you the confirmation. And it seems like, yeah, you can delete multiple at once as well. Interesting. So, this map's pretty much done, apart from those last two villagers. Last one's going now. What's this? Is this the time of the day? I don't know. I wonder what this is. Ah, bow equipment. Okay, you can... You can equip a building with a bow? What? I guess there's arches in the building by default. You don't have to put them in. So every unit has, like, its own gear. That's interesting. Three empire points in a house. Return to Quest City. Okay. What do you have to say? Nothing. What's your next... Ooh, I'm level two! Awesome! Okay, my computer froze for a bit, but... I'm back. Is it recording? Yeah, it is recording. We're good. Okay. The game didn't crash or anything, so that's good. You now have access to the tech tree. To view what's available, left-click the palace. Ah, the building has a use now. Look at all the technology, where you spend tech points. Hover over each item to see its description. Economy, military, and utility. A resource drop site used to get a storehouse. Okay. Trains infantry units. I wonder if I couldn't just get uh, a blueprint to build a storehouse. I mean, that would be... Fr or it would cost coins and not technology points, you know? Trains infantry units, a barrack. Well, I'm gonna need a barrack. Uh, a barrack? Wow. I I'm saying it wrong because of Barack Obama. Barracks. Yes, barracks. <laughs> it's not a Barack Obama trainer. No, sorry. I guess we can only pick this for some reason. Why can't I pick this? Granted by quest. Okay. I'm gonna save up my points for now, because... If it doesn't tell me I don't need this, I want to go for military first. Although I can't really make any units if I don't have... Eh? I don't know. Walls? This stuff seems important. I mean... I'm probably just gonna be spamming stable units like I did in Age of Empires 2, because I sucked. I'm gonna save the... Oh, I have to unlock the storehouse. It's my quest. Man, I didn't want to. Fine, I'll spend one point. There you go. Well, it gives me the points back, so I suppose that's good. Storehouse. Use your villagers to get our wood and build a storehouse. Okay. I can do that. And that gives me barack. Uh, b barracks. Barracks. Damn. Don't say barack. Um, so I guess I can go in here again. And begin this quest and build a storehouse. All I have to do is get our wood. And explore the map, I guess. So, you douchebags are gonna do that. Ah, okay, they have a build list in the corner here now. Population limit increase for wood and storehouse. Resource drop-off site. Well, I guess you can build that. Or you can all build that. Fine, that's okay. Do they lose resources if they start building? I don't know. 
Um, yeah, I'm not gonna bother finding out for now. You can do the same thing I made you did do before. Just run in circles. And he already found a guarded treasure, so I'm gonna send these dudes up there and bash his skull in. Because there's only one, so shouldn't be too hard. Need to increase the population limit, because it tells me to go to 15. So... Oh, they're all gathering berries? No, I didn't want you to gather berries, you idiots. I don't need food. I have 300. Wow, that's quite a powerful dude, isn't it? Don't know what I just got. Um... Seems to be nothing here. Why is it... Oh, it's because there's a wolf. Okay. Uh, if I remember right, wildlife attacks my villagers randomly. So, from the older games. So, I have to watch out for that. Yeah, he's attacking the horseman as well. But he's probably going to outrun him. So, I don't have to worry about that. But I don't want to learn to the village. Yeah, he's running back now. So, that's cool. Um, yeah, go kick his ass. Okay, I have wood now, so one of you... Can I actually bring wood here? You, try bringing wood here. Yeah, okay, that works for wood. Good, good, good. Let's build a house, so we can start making villagers to increase our population limit. Because that's what our quest says. Like right here, it says the objectives. Uh, I've pretty much explored the map. Still want to kill this wolf. It doesn't seem like there's a fog of war. There is on a map, but I can still look around and see all the wildlife and stuff. Then again, I'm not very far away from all those things, so that might explain it. Population cap increased. Okay. Uh, you can... I guess you can gather berries. I already have four people doing everything else. Did the dude die? Oh no, he was just in front of the other guy. Um, yeah, let's build villagers. Four, five. There we go. How to build faster. Oh. You go away. Okay, you can order more villagers to build it. That's... Uh, yeah, that's like the old Age of Empires. Uh, yeah, build resources close to a resource thing. Storehouses used by villagers. Yeah, okay, I didn't close it. Stupid me. Watch out for predators. They're a source of food, but fight back. Yep. Houses increase your population limit. Once houses built, increase your... Yeah, okay. You don't really need to make them do anything. I guess you can go and gather food, just because. Uh, I know I didn't build the storehouse near a forest, but really wasn't necessary. Wasn't that hard to gather the wood, so we're fine. Uh, I have to say, um, the art style doesn't annoy me, and I really like the original art style. But I don't know if this this works for me. It looks like a nice game. I think I'll be playing this more, unless they ruin the cash shop, then I'll just dump it like a rock. Because I hate cash shops. A lot. As far as I know, the game's free. Well, not now since it's beta. You have to sort of get a key. Guess that's free as well, if you know where to get one. Uh, yeah, sure, finish it. There we go. Spearmen are only com- yeah, okay, that was useful. I guess spearmen are good against horses. I'm guessing it's saying that. Uh, successful adventure, I get barracks. Ba barracks! Barracks! Damn it! Uh, and spearmen. Barrack. Bar barracks. I really hope that's the right pronunciation, or otherwise I'm making such an ass out of myself. We're in the street, ready to fight for you, the equipment, here's a blueprint. Gear hall! Ooh! If, uh, yay, I want to give my armies weapons and armor. Yes. To construct a building, open your inventory and right-click the building's blueprint. Okay. Let's open the chests first. I got some pine planks and copper ingots. Let's see. Left-click to place building foundation. Ah. Okay. Oh, I had a dock. I didn't even notice that. I wonder if, if this map comes pre-generated. Or if it's different... Or everyone else. Also, I guess this is the map I PvP with, I'm guessing. Because, uh... wonder why I can't build here. It's too close to the other building, I'm pretty sure. Or is it because there's stone? No, I think it's because of the building, because I can build here just fine. It's definitely the building. Uh, still, I'm going to place it... Let's see. Right about... 
now next to the road otherwise it looks stupid there you can go there did that work new technology unlocked ah yeah okay city improvements yes thank you yeah, I really want to know if this is the map I PvP with gear hall bill yeah I don't have villagers though um, oh here we go granted by quest can I make them Bar barracks Barracks, bar screw that. It's Barack. Obama. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get over that. Uh, so, what do I wait for the building to be made? What's going on? I don't see the building. The blueprint is gone. And. Do I have a quest? To con yeah, but I don't have a gear hall. Gear hall. Bill's construction store sells blueprints. I have 50 coins. I guess I'll get that. I don't have enough stone. But where's the. What? Why isn't the building building? I mean. Shouldn't it? I'm gonna pause the video while I figure this out, because this is gonna take a while. Okay, we're back. Hopefully this time we can construct um, this building. I had to start the game over and like do all this from scratch, do the missions again. And Now that I have my blueprint, let's try and place it and hopefully this time it doesn't just disappear. Left click. There we go. So it's just a bug. I did submit a bug report. Um, I guess there's no instant answer to those, so yeah, starting over was quicker. Uh, yeah, it's beta, so bugs happen, I'm okay with that. Uh, it sucks starting over, though. You've been rewarded with your first piece of gear. Open inventory and right-click on the gear to access the hall. Okay. Novice Forgotten Metal? Metal? Nov novice, novice. I'm not sure. Sorry. Right click while in your city to activate equipment building. Whoa. What's going on? From the gear hall, you can equip gear to improve the quality and look of your units and buildings. To equip a piece of gear, open your inventory and right click what you want to equip while the gear hall is open. You will be prompted to confirm each time you equip, because gear cannot be traded once it has been equipped. Okay. Right click while in your city to activate equipment building. Okay, wait, this was actually an item. So I can equip that. Bonus damage cost minus. Should I. Bonus damage protection. I guess I'll do it on villagers, because I think I'll build more houses than I'll build barracks and storehouses. And this gives minus cost. So I can make houses cheaper now. This gives damage and also minus cost. Wait, apply? Yes. There you go. Okay. This is a metal. I guess I. this is all I have, so... That goes to the spearman. Also, my city is called Distropolis, if I haven't said it already. Changed. And I got different resources as well. You can see that yourself. So it is random. Also, the map you start on is random. Because, well, this map is a lot different than what I got before. Uh, when I scroll around the map, it seems to have a little frame rate lag there, but to it's not you. too bothersome. As I follow, blah, blah, blah. Now it's time to strike back. Okay, you must prepare an army. I like the sound of that, and it gives me a helmet and a halber. I have no clue what that is. I've heard the word before, but... I don't know. Let's just finish the quest and maybe we'll find out. Begin quest. Combat units are trained at military buildings, obviously. Left click to train them. Count against the population limit. Wait, what? Oh, right, against. They add one population. Yeah, okay. Wow, I thought it actually subtracted from it. That, that, why would it do that? I'm stupid. Let's just play the game. What's uh, our goals? Gold gathered, barracks built, spearmen trained, and enemies defeated. 
Okay. Um, well, I guess I need to gather gold. I'll have to find... This is stone, this is gold. Yes. You can just all do that. I need to build a barrack so one of you can do that. I don't know if I'll need more wood. Spearman trained. No, I don't need to build houses. I can train ten spearmen. I'll have to wait for the barracks, though. Meanwhile, I'll just go and explore. This looks like my enemy. You can see his entire encampment. Might be for tutorial purposes. I hope. Otherwise, that'd be kind of silly. Gold gathering is going quite fast. As you can see. More gold here. Oh, vault life. So that's one of the treasures. So far, I'm really enjoying this game. Can't complain. Like the graphic style, even though it's not very Age of Empires like, I still feel like I'm playing Age of Empires. It feels like the same game, pretty much. To train new infantry units, select the building and left click the units icon in the build menu. Well, yeah, obviously. I figured that out a while ago. I can only train five at a time. That is not good. That is a bit lame. Uh, I guess you'll go kill that wolf. Sure, you can manage on your own. Oh, let's actually set the waypoint on one of these dudes. Oh, I can't set it on a unit. That sort of sucks. Okay, so I have to control them all manually. In Age of Empires 2, I remember being able to set a building's waypoint on a unit. Uh, and you could just, uh, yeah, you'd never have to, like, make them walk to the army. It was really useful. But, I guess, free games can't do that. I don't know. Some sort of limitation. Bit lame. Cheap bastards. Get some work done. Let's see. Barracks are built. Uh, villager, please go back to work. And all of you can go and beat stuff up. Or stab stuff in the face. Guardian, bandit chief, oh. Oh god, he's stronger than I thought. Uh, you run away! Wonder how smart the AI is, will it attack the lowest units again? No. Oh, oops, I let one die. No. Kill him. I'll go for this one. Which one? Ah! I suck at this. Uh, okay, he's picking the full health one. Also, what I'm wondering if I can make uh, squads. I believe it was control one. Ah, yeah, there we go. Now I can switch between these with one and two. That's useful. It's good to know. I'm not going to go to that encampment yet. It sound it looks like I get killed. Uh, also, it tells me to train ten spearmen, so that's probably what. Oh, of course, I needed to gather food. Ah, derp. Now I need to gather food from scratch. Shoot the deer. Gather its flesh. Feast on it. I guess. Meanwhile, I'll just go and explore for more stuff. Wait, how much meat did a deer have? This is... 150, okay. Um, crap. I was training dudes, right? No, no, of course, I didn't have the resources. No! Okay, oh cool, the building's shooting. The building's shooting. And he's down. Awesome. To experience. So I really have to hunt all of them down if I want to level up. I guess I'll set the waypoint here. So don't have to make them walk there after. My horse seems to be able to handle stray mobs, so... What's this? There has to be treasure around this map. It's the biggest map I've gotten so far. Also, this is shallow water, it looks like. Yeah, there we go. Walk over shallow water. Okay, there's another hidden treasure. Let's quickly go to the corner, though, just in case. You can keep up with me. Cows. Oh! Does it still have that... No, I'm not taking cows over. I think it was in... Yeah, Age of Empires 2 as well. When you walk past a cow, like, uh, it... 
belong to your team and you could take it with you. Mm -hmm. Right now it doesn't look like that's possible though. Unfortunately. I should have actually killed that stray running dude I saw. Maybe I can catch up with him. I did see a stray running dude, right? Three more spearmen. And that's that. I guess I'll just make him run past the village, see what's going on there. Also, I can easily get this treasure. I mean, <laughs> that's no problem. So, <coughs> to actually walk through this village, sorry for that cough. Doesn't look like they'll retaliate at all. Oh, there's actually an enemy here with buildings. No, it's just a few villagers. It doesn't look like they're mm -hmm. making a town hall or anything, so I'm cool. Ah, there we go. I guess the horse can claim cows? Maybe he can. I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, I saw dudes coming to my town. That's that's not good. Are they attacking? Or was that a cow? Was it my imagination? Kill him already! I think I need to defend myself. Do I? No enemies yet. Let's see what have I got? Some more stone? Some more pine planks. I wonder what the max stack is. I'm assuming a hundred. Just because it makes sense. Didn't I set the waypoint here? Go. Not being attacked. Must have been my imagination, as I said. Let's move these back. Uh, now it's just a waiting game, really, isn't it? Just wait for enough troops and... Well, I, I'll just send them right now, because there don't appear to be any enemies left. Just those few stray ones. Uh, if I use this, they should destroy everything in sight. Are they going to? Yeah, there they go. Awesome. Like, I'm guessing he could be training units, but doesn't look like he is. Most likely for tutorial purposes again. Uh, you can do that as well. Kill those villagers. I'm sure you can take them on your high horse. All right. Not much to say about this, I mean, uh, raising the village. There is absolutely nothing to say. There's no challenge, no enemies. I guess it will get harder as I go on. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, one more building. I want to kill that. I'm a completionist. I need to do everything. I got the treasure. Export the entire map as far as I could see. On Age of Empires 2, I used to deplete the maps of resources. Like, I just make 200 villagers when everything's done and, like, get everything. Usually enemies resign though, so you couldn't get that far. Return to quests. Okay. So I got new items. Which... Oh wait, I need to complete this first. Level 3! Awesome! Light armor. Scout special. Scout special. Health plus 7. Oh, I can only use this for the scout. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Scout special can only be used on scouts. This is a... Usable by cavalry. Okay, so you get that. There you go. Good to see. What do you have to say? Ah, you will earn farm! Awesome! Unlimited food! Bandit archers. Summons five bandit archers. Ooh, that's interesting. Requires age two. Ah, so there is actually ages as well. Interesting, interesting. I have five points to spend. I don't know if I should, though, because I don't know what to buy. Walls seem useful, but... probably just want to gather stuff for now. Save everything up. Ooh, I could make a better unit here. I could make archers. I don't know, though, if the quest... The quests don't seem that hard and don't seem to need them yet, and it's probably best to decide what I need based on the quests I get. Egypt. Ah, okay, this is all the different maps. Troy. Interesting. 
But those factions aren't in yet. Uh, I'm guessing it'll have like a faction war system. I hope so. I really don't know much about the game. It's all like first experience. Didn't read about it. Unlock your choice at the capital city. Okay. Unlock the Iron Age. Sure, I'll go for that. Nola travel quest. What? Traveling. Does it just mean I have to click this and... Oh, here we go. Acquired. Items chosen in this row. Oh, so I need to actually choose this to advance to age 2 or no? Let's read what the quest said. In the description. Never do that. Now I can unlock technologies. I advise you to select a variety of technologies of your choosing. You will be able to expand your... Yeah, so I have to select the technologies to qualify for the quests. I get a farm. I can't even select it. That's quest stuff, so... How many things are achieved by quests? That seems to be the last one. Oh, and wonder. Ah, I hate wonders. Ah, seriously, it has wonders? I hate those. Those are like the hor most horrible thing in Age of Empires ever. Because I just want to finish my maps by fighting, and then someone builds a freaking wonder or gathers all the relics. It sucks. Increases gathering rate. Improves villager gold gathering from gold mines. I mean, it's it it all costs two for twelve percent. Don't know if I want to do that right now. I'd rather have a new unit. Improves spearmen. Wow, for one. It's so much cheaper. I can get all these. These are two, though. I might want to... Um, effective against other infantry. Effective against cavalry. I won't do this one for now. Because then I can get the stable. Yeah, then I can get both these. So, that's two new buildings. Yes. Iron Age complete. Complete. Uh, I'm gonna end this video for now. I think we're up to about 50 minutes. If you enjoyed this, uh, you know, leave a message. I might do more f first impression videos. If it's really enjoyed and appreciated, I might even make a, you know, a follow-up video to this. So let me know. This has been disrespecting. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And uh, hope to see you again in whatever video I do next. Bye bye.